In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of June the 29, 2018. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Do you love me more than this? When Jesus went to the region of Caesarea of Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And I say to you, you are a stone, that is Peter. And upon this, this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail upon it, against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Glory, to, glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Okay, we have this um, feast of the commemoration of the apostles, of the holy apostles, Peter and Paul. And we are, prevent, we are presented with this Gospel of Matthew. With this Gospel of Matthew. It is the profession, the creed of Simon called the stone. Now, I wanted to translate directly from the Greek test. The reason being because even from the Latin text we have a mistake. The Lord does not call rock Simon Peter. He calls him stone. And then he makes there is the wording where he says, Upon this rock I will build my, my, my church. Mistakenly, it has been preached, even preached, and that started about the time when Rome went his own way on the Crete, about the year 1014. And they have preached that Peter, Simon Peter, is the rock on which the church stands. But can anyone really, any theologian or anyone of goodwill, really believe that the church is based upon a man? Is it not true that in the Psalms and in the Old Testament, all scripture talks about the Lord Jesus Christ as the keystone and the only rock? The only rock is the Lord Jesus Christ. Peter happened to be the first stone to be built upon that rock. Later on, the last time that they were going to be seeing each other in this life, especially Simon Peter, he heard the questioning of the Lord. Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than this? Three times he asked, and the Lord was lowering his expectations. First, do you love me more? And then he answered, Peter answered, Yes, I want you. And then, do you love me? And the three times the Lord answered back, Take care of my sheep. Today that we are celebrating these two great apostles, some of them would like to call, especially in Rome, they like to call them the columns, along with St. Athanasius and some other I don't remember exactly who the other of the fathers. But there were 12. They were really 12. And I would even dare to say they were 13. Because the original 12 did not include Paul. And right after and before Pentecost, right after the Lord ascended into heaven, Matthias was selected. But God, the Lord himself, was to choose Paul and Barnabas and several others for they became just like the apostles sent directly by God directly by the Lord Jesus Christ let us pray dear brothers that God may enlighten our, our, our minds our hearts that he might enkindle our hearts in his love and that he might illumine our understanding that we might understand really his sacred scriptures 
and try to follow him faithfully. And may God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, send his blessing upon us all today and always.